Wow, isn't this just an amazing scenic area along the coast? You know what? I think it would make for a great screenshot. <laughs> Hey guys, LogDodZip here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Tweaks. Now, it's been a while since the last Minecraft Tweaks, so if you don't know what it is, it's basically changes you can make to your Minecraft game that will allow you to, you know, improve your experience playing the game without really affecting too much of how vanilla Minecraft feels. Just basic tweaks, small modifications. And today I'm bringing you the voxel menu, and this is coded by, in part by that Apple freak and by the voxel box team. And it is part of a larger uh, entire tweak to the interface system known as the voxel mod pack. So uh, let me start off by showing you the in-game menu. As you can see, we've got an entire graphic user interface overhaul with tons of different options for you to choose from. Now I will be focusing mainly on the screenshot manager of this for this video, uh, but I'll also be covering one other thing that I thought was really cool that comes with the voxel menu um, tweak. If you'd like to see me cover more aspects of the mo voxel mod pack, uh, you can let me know by leaving a like on the video and by commenting that you would like to see more of it. So, let me show you the first and coolest part about this mod. So, as you can see, we just took a screenshot of this foresty area. Now, right off the bat, you'll see that a screenshots option has been added right to your menu that you can look at from any time. So, when you click that, you'll see your screenshot right there. And if you take another, we'll take another one, for example, it will show up right there. Let's do some inception right here. See how far down we can go. <laughs> Either way, you'll see that it's got all of the options right there to uh, take a screenshot for you immediately. And uh, one thing about the Minecraft's built-in screenshot taker is it, it gives them these funky titles. Now, if you go into your screenshot menu like we just have, you can rename it to, well, basically, you can rename it to whatever you want. Whatever you want. Excuse any sounds you hear in the background. <laughs> it's not me. So, once it's been... Uh, change to that title you can go and you can well obviously you can delete it but you can also post it to various different websites right now there's currently only um, support for imager and Dropbox but the dev has stated he will be adding Facebook and Twitter integration soon enough that will be great when that comes out because then I can post to Twitter pictures of whatever I'm playing you know super fast but when you upload to Imager, it will basically upload in the background and then provide you with a couple links. Okay, so now you can see it's been uploaded and what you can either do is click open and it will open up your browser to the image right there as you see it. Or, let's minimize that, you can just do copy link and it will copy it right to your clipboard. As you can see, it'll just paste and go and it's the same exact image. Now this allows for some awesome integration and, and uploads. Especially you can do it with Dropbox as well. I don't personally use Dropbox that much, so I have no reason for it. But uh, it's a great way to get out any screenshots you take as you take them. Because I know some of you guys like to take screenshots with, you know, YouTubers you see on various servers or whatever. And that'll be the fastest way to knock that out. Now, one thing you'll need to know about the screenshot manager in this um, tweak is that it actually saves screenshots to a spot separate from where Minecraft normally will keep its screenshots. So we will just pause, right, or... I'll just say we'll pause right here and we'll go over to this window I have open right here. This is my dot Minecraft folder, which uh, I will show you how to navigate to uh, in this video. And then normally screenshots are saved right here. And as you can see, I've got a, I've got a solid handful from older times right there. But for the voxel box mod for voxel menu, it's actually going to be saved under mod packs, voxel mod pack, and then screenshots. Now this is where all the screenshots are. And as you can see, it even updates the actual title of the image, you know, live. As you change it in here, it will change the, the literal file name as well. So if you can't find your screenshots through your folder, for, through your browser, looking through folders manually, it's because that's where they're located. So uh, that's, that's basically it for the screenshot manager. Um, you know, it's got the cool interface that you can do, rename, delete, and post to. Now the other neat thing that uh, is encompassed with this new menu is uh, something I think is really neat. It actually allows you to choose your fav one server, you know, you can put your favorite server right on the menu right here. So right as Minecraft loads up, you can connect to whatever server you have selected here. So as you can see, I'm on the set of crafting with noobs, 
And I don't know, I don't think we've gotten this far yet in terms of when I've uploaded. So this is a little sneak preview of where we are right now. <laughs> but you can disconnect and you can, uh, can right-click uh, this thing to be able to choose what server you want. I'm gonna go ahead and have to block out that server address right there. <laughs> but um, you know, you can either type it in manually and then you set the server name, that's how it'll appear on the menu right here. Or you can choose pick and then you just choose one of the various servers you have on your server menu and then just use this server and it will switch right there to that. So anyways, that was it for this Minecraft week. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you find it useful, I'd love it if you left a like on the video. And once again, if you want me to cover more of the Voxel Mod Pack, uh, also let me know by leaving a comment and a rating, or you know, however you see fit to inform me that you would like to see more of this. But yeah, that's about it for this Minecraft week. Uh, thank you for watching. I'm Log.Zip, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. So as you can see, these chests are empty or don't have really anything of much importance in them. But what we have right here is the real chest. And it's great around me live. <laughs> so let's see how it works. Um, your, your guess is as good as mine. All right, so we're flying around, and already it's proven true to its name. There are 